Hello, everyone. I'm Bianca, and this is Tanner, and we are your Common Sense Editors. We're here every Tuesday to walk through a different tool that you might be able to use in your classroom. And we have a ton more views on our website, uh, commonsense.org slash education. So make sure to check those out. Tanner, what do you have for us today? Figured I'd go topical today since at the time of recording, chat GPT has been in the news. It feels like for months now and there, there's seemingly no escape. So artificial intelligence is here. AI is here. And teachers are probably looking for resources to teach about those subjects. And we've reviewed something recently that is probably the best in the game right now about for um, addressing AI in your classroom. Now, the caveat here is that this is really only going to work down to about middle school. You might be able to adapt bits and pieces of this for elementary, but it really is a little high level, I think. Um, but it is an impressive, free, free, free web-based resource for artificial intelligence called the AI Education Project, and that's at um, aiedu.org. Um, now, the big the big thing with this uh, resource is they have a massive curriculum. I'm going to save that until the end, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail around that because. It's a lot, first of all, to show in the limited time we have. Um, and I think it's sort of an edge case in a way because it is, I think our review calls out that it is 36 45-minute lessons. It's a huge curriculum. There's a lot there, super detailed, impressive. Um, the most impressive thing on artificial intelligence I've seen in the education space. But I actually think a better entry point is there are other resources. Um, and you can find those under the, the teach section here. So I'm going to show off these first two resources that are much easier to implement. The intro to AI is that full course that you can dive into. And this brings me to my biggest criticism with this tool. If you want to check this out and you want to check out these three resources, they have this really annoying thing where whenever you click on any of these and you go to look at something, it'll pop up this box that makes you fill out all of your information and send it to them to get the resource. And you have to do that over and over again for every resource. There's not just like a login that gets you everything. Um, so be aware that just to check this out, you're going to have to be typing your stuff in over and over again. It's it's pretty annoying. And at AI EDU, if you're listening to this, change that, please. Just have a login that someone can get everything you've got on offer and browse it all um, without having to log in over and over again. Um, so under the teach, there's this project dashboard. And this just links a little batch of projects, which I imagine will grow over time, um, that are meant to be primarily student-guided explorations of different key topics in artificial intelligence. And you'll see here, they're around one and a half hours. They're generally grades um, from nine to 12 for these. Um, there are some that are teacher led um, and they're pretty neat. And here's an example of one of those. Once you go through and you log in, this is the deep fakes one. And everything that this, um, resource has is is really well designed and I feel like just super compelling. These topics, like you're, you know, this is going to light up a classroom easily. But um, you know, here's one of those little projects and they always have nice places for students to kind of um, reflect and think about some of these issues. And they all culminate in some kind of activity. This one you're you're developing a press release and they have Handy little Google Docs templates. Be advised, you really need a Google account to access all of this stuff. Um, if you don't, you're going to need to get one and copy it over to whatever other platform you're using. Uh, but all of the resources come with just copious amounts of extra material. Um, so that's one of the projects. So you can take a glance at that. Um, 
the projects, that's kind of the student experience. They also come with a teacher overview that kind of shows the structure of it. Everything is is really well laid out and, and well structured. My favorite thing they do though is this AI snapshots. Um, this is 180 warm up activities, five minute warm acti up activities. 180. Look at this slide deck. <laughs> it's insane. I've never seen anything like this. Just, I'm going to keep scrolling, scrolling. Oh, it looks like there is actually more than 180 now. <laughs> we're, we're in the 200s here. Um, this is just incredible. I this I feel find this incredibly inspiring that they generated thi these many this many activities. These are like icebreakers, exit tickets, hooks for a lesson, whatever you want to use them at. And they're they cover all kinds of subjects. Here's a these are a bunch in math. They have a bunch in science, um, English, and they're so neat and compelling. Like this one. Um, has a few prompts about, I did this, I did that. And the students have to kind of guess who that person is. Um, and each of those follows up with the answer. Um, I like, this is just, this content is just, is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and they're creative activities. A lot of them get students out onto the web, kind of searching and finding, you can, you can do this in small groups. Um, I think when you look at this, you're like, I feel like there's something for every teacher here. Um, it's really incredible. I did notice there's some spelling mistakes and little quirks like that that you may have to fix, but um, really neat. And they have sources and stuff down here as well. Um, links to like extra material. Um, and then of course, <laughs> like there's all that. And then there's the giant curriculum 35, 45 minute lessons. Uh, once you sign up, you get tossed into this Google Drive. Um, it's got everything you need. It's got the slide deck, you know, that a teacher can use to structure the whole thing. A massive slide deck. Uh, it's got a student workbook. And I should say one limitation here is, you know, there's no login for students. Students are going to be working in the docs. You're gonna have to find a way to collect those and grade them and everything. But um, there's a ton of material here. You can see sort of the structure here. There's a couple sort of culminating projects. There's like a pitch um, around module four. And then there's um, like an app development project at the end. Um, just super extensive. Uh, there's so much material in these modules. Um, I, I we just don't have the time to show off everything that's linked and you know from BuzzFeed quizzes to projects. There, uh, they like there's things that I found through this that I didn't even know existed that have just like have really helped me personally understand AI better. <laughs> like in just reviewing this, I feel like I've I've gotten a lot of extra info and resources um and you know, there's a teacher guide that'll give you a nice little overview and, and help you kind of wrap your mind around what the structure is going to be um, they also have teaching strategies which i found kind of unique they um you know it's this is stuff like if you're in the classroom day to day you already know all this but if you're like running an after school program maybe you're not in the classroom all the time. Like these are really handy little tips. Um, you don't need any computer science expertise to teach this at all. Um, you know, so this is a great, this is great for novices or this would be great to implement in a computer science class. Um, and they also have uh, a folder of just tons of supplementary material that goes with the modules. You know, so there's worksheets, there's quizzes there. I mean, <laughs> it's, it is in like like one of the most impressive um, curriculum curriculum resources I've seen in quite some time. Um, so 
What, <laughs> any reactions beyond kind of this? I don't think you've dug into this one yet. No, so I haven't you're... seen it yet. But I think one thing I'm curious about, do you feel like it's responsive to the current moment or do you feel like this is something that's been going on for a long time and they're continuing to build on it? Like, what is your sense of relevancy that way? Yeah, that's a great question because as we know, this stuff, every week there's new developments, I feel. And um, it does make me wonder, you know, they 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 advertised this group of snapshots as having 180, but they've clearly added more. I do wonder, and I don't know this, if they are updating this constantly right. to kind was, of address some of this stuff. Yeah, I was thinking the fact that maybe that it's in a Google Drive, you know, it kind of lends itself to that, to being updated and all that, which which seems great. Yeah, you'd, you'd hope they're doing that just because so much is happening. Even in the education space, I think that could be fascinating case studies. But um, yeah, you, you, you'd hope they are updating it. And that would be so key to keeping the engagement high. That I, I guess that could be a criticism as well, that it would be maybe nice to see some resource that is about kind of what's trending right, in like, AI. Exactly. To see some of the latest, that would be cool. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, Tanner. So you can check us out, like we said, commonsense.org slash education, and we'll see you next time.